Okay. So this is the typical Q&A part. The uh, review. Okay, bakit yun yung sagot? Bakit hindi yan? Okay, so ano, break time muna or proceed na tayo? No hours na ba? 12. Hello? Yeah. Do you proceed? Do you want to proceed or let's have a break? Proceed na lang. Okay, proceed daw sabi ni Miss Lilith. Do you agree? <laughs> sir, proceed na lang po tayo sir para tuloy-tuloy po. Oh. Okay, how about the others? Paki-chat naman. G, okay, G daw sila. Now, okay. This is the last na no? <laughs> practice test na tayo. Okay, so for the first question, Okay, it is refers. Uh, it is referred to a circuit of water movement from the atmosphere to the earth, back to the atmosphere. So, which is the answer, guys? So you may chat or you may uh, open your mic. Okay. Hydrologic cycle, sir. Okay, so may nagsagot ng evaporation. Uh, see. Evaporation. Okay. So the answer there is A. Okay. Ah, hydraulic hydrologic uh, cycle. Hydrologic cycle. Okay. So yung hydrologic cycle, it's the same as your water cycle. Okay. So uh ito kasi evaporation at precipitation. When we say evaporation, guys, no, bakit hindi yan yung sagot, sir? Kasi pag evaporation from the sea to the atmosphere lang. Okay? And the question, ang tanong, no? Uh, water movement from the atmosphere, from the atmosphere to the earth, going back to the atmosphere. Okay? So, if the question is, ano lang, no? Atmosphere to the earth. Pag atmosphere to the earth, that is just your precipitation. Okay? Now, from the earth to the atmosphere, that is just your evaporation. Pero tinatanong dito, movement na nung ano eh, up and down. So, you should have an idea. It's a cycle. Okay? So, that the answer is hydrologic cycle. Okay? Yung evaporation at precipitation nyo, part lang siya ng hydrologic cycle. Okay? Yung mass flow sa ano yan? Sa uh, tawag dito? Sa movement din yan ng water, however, dun sa, sa surface ng soil pababa. Okay? That is mass flow. Next question. The following processes are transformation of nitrogen in the soil, which is not a biological process. Okay, may nagsagot ng volatilization. How about the others? B then? B then? Okay. Okay, may nagsagot ng denitrification. So, hala-hala. Okay, so, let's do, let's do this. No? Remember, uh, basahin yung maigi yung tanong lagi, no? Kasi yung not, no? It's a not, no? not biological processes. Okay? So, the answer there is volatilization. So, your N2 fixation is, ah, uh, Ang nagfa-facilitate dyan na biological organism is your rhizobia nga. For denitrification, that is your nitrobacter. And for nitrification, that is your nitrosomonas. Sa vol volatilization, wala. Okay? That is just due to physical factors such as your humidity and temperature. Okay? Those are not biological factors. Okay. So that's the answer. The violation. Volatilization? Yes. Sir? Volatilization. Yun yung sagot. Kasi not a biological process. Okay? So next. Red soil is generally A. Basic. B. Acidic. C. Sodic. D. Saline. Acidic. Acidic, okay. sir? Acidic. Acidic. B. Acidic. B. 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 Acidic. Okay, yes. Okay, tama. So, generally, no, red soil is acidic. It has uh, high iron content also, no, generally. At pag sinabi nating uh, sodic and saline, basic soils din yun, guys, no? 
So si Saudi mataas yung uh, uh, yung kanyang uh, electrical conductivity the same time the calcium and uh, sodium ay mataas. Si Salin naman masyadong mataas yung uh, sodium niya, okay? Sal salinity. Okay? And those are basic cations kasi, no? Ganun. So, basic soils usually are white. Okay? White. White in color. Okay, next. This describe the darkness or lightness of a color. Is it A, intensity, B, value, C, hue, D, chroma? Okay, B, value. Okay. So, intensity, ano lang yan? Uh, wala yan, hindi yan part ng uh, pencil color chart. Okay? Si value, uh, I si hue, value, I see hue, that is your spectral color. Si chroma, that is the uh, brightness. Okay? Pagkaiba si brightness at lightness, ha? Okay? So, si value, siya yung lightness or darkness. Okay? Okay, next. The bacteria which live symbiotically with the roots of legumes and are able to fix atmospheric nitrogen. Is it A, Rhizobia, B, Aspergillus, C, Mycorrhizae, uh, D, Penicillium? Okay, marami nang sagot ng A. Okay, so magsasagot ng Mycorrhizae. Okay, so uh, guys, no, some example lang. Halimbawa, wala kayong idea alin dito yung ano, <laughs> sagot. Okay, so first, the, the question is bacteria. Alin dyan ang bacteria? Okay. So, penicillium, bacteria ba yun? Okay, mycorrhizae, bacteria ba yun? You do elimination method pag ganun. Okay, and then you choose among the two. Si Aspergillus ay free living. So, hindi siya, uh, hindi siya, wala siyang contact with the roots. Si Rhizobia, So, siya, na, siya na yung sagot pag ganun. Okay? So, A. Okay, so next. The group of soil microorganisms which have the ability to photosynthesize. Is it A, algae, B, fungi, C, nematode, D, protozoa? Okay, A, A, A. Okay. So, the answer is algae. Okay, so explain ko pa ba ito? Parang alam naman na ng lahat. Okay, next. If soil moisture content is 40, field capacity is 30, and permanent wilting point is... Ano ito? 20. Okay. The amount of available water is... Okay, again, available water. Ano ba yung available water? Is it biological... Ano? Biological... Tag dito? Yung biological? Or is it the physical classification? So, maraming marami nagsasagot ng 20? 2020? Okay. Okay. So, guys, since it's it's available water, so that is biological classification. Now, we go back to your biological classification that is saturation to permanent wilting point. Therefore, 40 minus 20. Mm -hmm. That 20. is the available amount of water. Mm -hmm. Okay? Not the 40. As a whole. Okay? So, this refers to organic and inorganic matter which are exceedingly small but have high surface area per unit weight or volume. Is it A, organic matter, B, soil colloids, B, soil solids, B, soil texture, and which is which? Okay, soil texture. May sumagot ng soil colloid. Soil, col soil colloids. Huh? Okay, may sumagot ng organic matter. May sumagot. Okay, halo-halo. Okay. So, first, no? let's uh, dissect the question. Okay. Organic and inorganic matter. matter. 
cross na to. Okay? So, si soil, so, si texture, ano bang nandun kay texture? Sand, silt, and clay. May organic ba doon? Wala. Cross na yan. Okay? So, si soil solid, pwede. Kasi solid siya as a whole. Okay? Si soil colloid, pwede din. Kasi meron tayong humus na soil colloid. ba? Diba? So, that is organic ano, colloid property. Now, si soil solid, kasali dyan si sand, silt, clay, lahat ng solid na ma maisip nyo. Okay? Si soil colloid, siya yung sagot. Okay? Si soil colloid natin, sila yung humus, vermiculite, elite. So, technically, they are clay. Okay? Pero, since nga si humus ay hindi, ay organic, okay? So, kasali rin siya sa soil colloid. No? So, organic and inorganic matter. The answer is soil colloid. Okay? So, which among these is not a soil moisture regime? Okay. Is it A, aquic, B, ustic, C, udic, D, mesic? Mesic, sir. Okay, mesic daw. Mesic. Okay, mesic. Okay, kaka, ano lang yan kanina. Kaya may mm. nagsagot ng C, udic. So, this, again, ito ay saturation, ito ay field capacity, uh, hindi, ito ay available water, okay? ito yung field capacity, ito, temperature regime yan. So, wala na yan. The question, not. Okay? Again, no? Next, a loosening or scaling of rock surface. Is it A, unloading, B, exfoliation, D, defoliation, uh, D, weathering, C. Should I C, defoliation pala Okay, B, B, how about the others? Okay, B. Okay, sa mga nag-skincare dyan, no? Dapat, given na to sa inyo. Di ba, pag nag-exfoliate, nagbabalat, no? para kang may kaliskis. Scaling. Okay? So, defoliation, bakit hindi yan yung sagot? Defoliation, pagtanggal ng foliage. Okay? Unloading, bakit hindi yan yung sagot? Kasi, ang ibig sabihin ng unloading, Meron pang rock dito, no? So yan bababa lang yan, ka unload. Tapos magbe-break na siya. Okay, that's unloading. So wala. Si weathering pwede. However, this is too general, no? This is too mm -hmm. general. Kaya X na yan. 